so let's begin so today we are going to make this this is a spoiler of a sports car so the basic idea is it this device generates a negative lift for an sports car which held the traction of the wheel to the ground so it's better for maneuvering okay so for example i can show you this one this in this car if you can see the this, this back portion is the spoiler okay so it held with the with the trusses mounted on it so we are going to make this in ktv5 so stay tuned so make yourself comfortable and now it's time so starting by the starting the ktv5 software after that um, download these three files of mixer sheets and one the drop sheet from the description link below so there's a link click on it and just download okay after getting these three files open it so one is the drop sheet which is useful for the dimension purpose like you can see here the dimension are, are displayed over here okay and the next two things are the excel sheets which are of naka digits exporter points okay so one, one by one we are going to open this thing things okay so as you see here we have a naka 4412 naka digit series okay four digit series so we are going to just copy this coordinates copy and we are going to paste it on the here on the exporter file so just right click on it go for the values so it it became like that and after that we are going to select the another column which is this one but here's a trick we are going to select from the second number because we already has uh, taken the zero zero coordinates okay so selecting this copy and pasting it on the exporter file okay so by this we have 49 coordinates okay xyz coordinates of naka four digit series okay so now we are going to export make sure you have opened the cat software okay so just hit the export button name it as naka4412 okay so after that as you see in catia by zooming it we have seen the coordinates are displayed over here okay so those who are new to the catia just make sure that you have the commands over here to rotate this one to drag uh, there's a command called pan okay so all things are over here don't need, no need to worry or panic just go to the insert button or you can find all the commands over here okay these are my like user defined com com commands are here so you can adjust it by dragging the this thing like that okay so it's up it's upon the basic choice of, of a user so I'm just going to delete the last point this one okay so I'm going in start uh, mechanical design and in wireframe and surface design so why I'm going here because I need to make a spline with this points okay so for that spline um, I'm going to this command called spline those who don't have the like those who can't see the commands you just go here insert a uh, wireframe and you can see the spline command over here okay so now uh, step by step I'm selecting the points like this make sure you guys you you, you won't miss miss any points because if you if you miss any points the naka series airfoil will be like somewhat different from the original one okay and you have if you have any doubts just comment below because i'm going to explain every each and every like doubt of yours okay last five four three two and one after that selecting this like like this and this preview and okay 
so it's done now it's time for the scaling part so selecting the just drag it much here and selecting this yz plane okay and now i'm going for scaling for scaling you need to go here insert operations scaling first of all select the yz plane then select this uh this sorry again sorry selecting this airfoil insert operations and scaling select the horizontal plane sorry the vertical plane means the yz plane and scale it as ratio of 1000 so it will goes like like it will create a 1000 mm scaling of this part again sele selecting this going for op operations and scaling now it's time for the horizontal part the horizontal plane which is the zx plane okay so it is 1000 mm preview and okay so now hiding these things which are not necessary for us and uh, tools hide all the points so the, the all the points are are hidden now okay after getting the airfoil done i'm going to invert the airfoil first so for that i'm going to select this first and going command called rotate you can find this command in at insert also going for x axis and the angle should be 180 preview okay hiding the previous airfoil okay as we uh, like as we know the inverted airfoil is at some angle okay so for that i'm again selecting this going for a command called rotate and going to rotate in the x direction sorry in the z direction and now it's only 13 degree okay and hide okay okay so now uh, i'm going to extrude it with the command called extrude in the direction this and i'm going to give the dimension as 5000 in length five thousand mm okay so making one adjustment here so I'm just going to add one more parameter here 13 plus 5 degree okay it means 18 degree angle of attack Neg the negative angle of attack okay that look fine to me now after this I'm going to fill the ends with the command called fill. Okay, preview. Done. Other command fill for the other side. And it's done. After adding this, I'm going to hide the this rotate two. Okay. So now I'm going to join these three parts. These three things. Okay. For that we have command called join. So I'm selecting elements is uh, one at a time. This one, the fill and the fill two. Okay, hit on the join. Okay, so it's a one body now. After that, we are going in the part design to make it a uh, like a thick surface. So for that, we are going for a command called thick surface. Okay, so selecting this. So I'm going for com uh, 15 mm okay in the inside or, or, or maybe less than mm it works let's check okay that's fine um, hide the join command 
it's a surface now okay which is having with which is having a uh, thickness of 10 mm okay so after that we got our basic shape of aerofoil now it's time for this one the flaps the the end flaps to make it a slim uh, streamlined flow so i'm just sketching this surface okay so it's not like mandatory to stick on the draft sheet you can make it your own okay so i'm i'm just going for the basic thing that that is like that okay it's a uh, it's like this again we are going to draw to make it like we have here Make sure this all dimensions are in green line because if you won't get that it will you not know, deform so make it as 200 okay and the distance is here make it as 500 so i'm just taking it as a random number okay there's no specific in it distance between this two is 621 okay and uh, the distance from this to this let's take it as 1050 the distance of this two is 150 maybe yep make sure you are holding the left control while selecting the two comma uh, two lines okay like this uh, like uh, so like suppose i'm selecting this line pressing the control button now selecting the other one now removing uh, like like uh, now going for the constraint so it will give me the distance between uh, the, the angle between these two okay so let's take it as angle as 170 or maybe less 145 no no it's too much hidden 155 yeah that's cool okay now now the angle between this two it's what's uh, pink means it's already constrained no noted for that now it's time for this one it's already constrained so control z this one should be thousand okay and the angle between this two let's make it as hundred not 100 110 yeah that looks cool okay so by this way we are going to like we made this thing okay i'll go i'll go for 105 that looks fine to me okay so it is all constrained now as you see it's all green means it's all constrained no 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 it will it won't move from its place now so coming back from the sketch okay so now we are going to extrude it with the command called pad let's take it as 20 first and selecting the profile in the output direction make sure the arrow is in the upward in the outward direction preview and hit okay let's take it as 25 okay. now 
I'm just uh, going for the command called it is this one edge fillet so selecting the edges very carefully let's take it as first this one and make sure it is 60 review this one is also 60 no 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 Re remove close again select this only this one okay preview fine and now this one is the biggest one so for that i'm selecting again split select it as 110 okay and the other one 80 And this two remaining one this one and second is this one so stirring it let's take it as 150 review fine and this one is also fifty. okay it's done so as you see our like the 50 percent work is now finished so after this uh, i'm going to make this thing same at the other side also so for that uh, i'm going for the command called plane i'm just, I'm just going to make a plane in between this two okay so the plane dimension is 2500 so it's in the middle okay so now i'm going for a command called mirror so i'm going to mirror this one in this direction okay uh yeah okay as you can see it's mirror is done okay So in the next video, uh, we, we, are, we are going to make a trusses in this thing and uh, see you for the next time then and have a good day.